Hey guys, I've got a very serious announcement about me and a certain other person. I didn't have time to take my goatee off to show just how serious this announcement is, so instead of me explaining it, I'll let them. What? Oh, uh, oops, uh, sorry. Sacre bleu, Felus! Cut to the wrong 24-7 live direct video feed. No, we'll be joining Raiden from all the way... Uh, slightly over there for this important announcement. I have something important to show you. Look closely at the spelling. Not much different now, is it? Santa, Satan, one and the same. That's right, after doing a lot of research with my best buddy Raiden, we made that important discovery. No wonder I like him so much more than Sub-Zero. Oh, screw you, fail us! And Shredder. What? Oh, Shredder! Or Michael Myers. <coughs> and let's not forget Mario. Oh, mamma mia! Don't drag me into this bullshit! I'm not even on your show! And last, but certainly not least, Thales D1. Oh, come on! I thought we were like brothers! Aren't we? Aren't you supposed to be a cat? Uh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah, shut up with the Doctor Who crap. And you know the real reason I like Raiden more than any of the rest of you? He's not played by me! Merry Christmas, you assholes! Get out! Well, I apologize for my behavior during that intro bit. I must have just been touched by the spirit of Satan Claus! <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a sleighing song tonight. Yes, this is the level of wit we can expect from Satan Claus. And yes, this is the level of lighting we can expect too. Because after the riveting, barely lit Satan Claus's adventures in traffic for the opening credits scene, we get some outlines of arms waving around. Apparently they're trying to cast a love spell on Frank and Lincoln here. Well, perhaps those two scenes were supposed to be dark and the next one won't be. Or perhaps this is a blatant set for the fact that yes, the next scene definitely is just as dark. Oh, come on, you couldn't find a brighter street light, or, or at least someone who knows what an exposure setting is? Oh, well, at least the audio is good. Like... You're not gonna call the I understand what you are. You scared me. No. You don't understand. Oh, shit, that was the same joke, because it's not good at all! <laughs> what the hell was that? I have a beautiful gift for you. Ah! Merry Christmas! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I said Merry Christmas, but I killed her! <laughs> I'm the funniest guy I know. Oh, well, time to check in with the Blue Light Police Force. You're a sentimental old fool, Sergeant Miller. This city is rotten, and it certainly isn't going to change because you're in the Christmas spirit. Well, at least someone on this force is doing something to kill background noise. Artisan's office, it's your wife. She's dead. She was murdered about an hour ago. Oh. What a tragic event. It's times like these that make you really realize just how precious life is. Fuck! Fuck shit, fuck! Hell yeah, the captain's the best character in this! Fuck! Fuck shit, fuck! <clears throat> uh, you should do something about that cold, Steve. Uh, maybe you can help me, my man. Maybe you could make one of your miraculous mixtures you used to make when you were a witch. <laughs> yep, I'm Miss Cleo. So this is 
kind of our introduction to the main protagonist. Again, if you can call something barely visible and audible that. Maybe I should accept reality. The truth is I'm I'm not an actor. I know, you're in Satan Claus. Ooh. Though he is one of the few people in this film that went on to work in anything else. Ta -da! What, what, what are you doing dressed like that? Is that a Santa Claus suit? Or should I say Satan Claus suit? So old Steverson is dressing up like this because he's doing a charity Santa on the street gig. Gee, with a killer claws on loose, I wonder if this will lead to some kind of misunderstanding later. Uh, sort of, I guess? Be careful and say hi to Ken for me. Consider it done. <laughs> yep. And there was this man. He was dressed like, like Santa Claus. He was chopping at Helen with an axe. But his voice, he was laughing. You heard him laugh? Did he laugh? Ho, ho, ho? Well, we've got our number one suspect on the wall there. Bring Clinton in. He was laughing while he was killing her. I swear I will kill him with my own hands. Oh, look, a reuse of the opening scene, because we really need to see jolly old St. Prick driving to his dark void, which houses his Christmas tree, and it looks like he's getting a head on his decorating. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's really going to stink soon, right? Just a little offering to make the orphans Christmas merrier. Just a little offering. Oh! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. I really got you this time. <laughs> yeah, I really got you that time. It truly was clever of me to think to come up from behind you like that. I really am the funniest guy since Satan Claus. Ha ha ha. Good. No thanks to you. Do you know what time it is? Where have you been for two and a half hours? Where the hell have you been? I was detained. Sorry. Oh, idiot and me, uh, standing alone, dressed like Santa Claus. Look, I said I was sorry. You would have been looking at your watch if you were with a girl like that. I, pro up. I probably would have been with a girl like that, too, if I hadn't had an appointment with you. Ouch. Good for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you going now? To look for a band-aid. Besides, you're doing fine without me. I can't believe it. He left me out here again. Scene. Wow, guys, we truly are making something special here. It may not be visible, but the power of your performances will shine right through. Captain Artis. Is it like my present I sent you? No, I didn't like it. I'll send you another. Don't hang up. Yes, dial tone. Can you tell him to pick it back up? Not enough time. Fuck. Fuck shit. Fuck. You mad, Captain? I had to see it to believe it. Sandra, what are you doing here? This is my friend, Ken Morris. Sandra is a professional photographer. She did my portfolio. Oh, poor thing. I don't envy her. Oh! Burn. I really got you this time. Merry Christmas! Really, Satan Claus? Just straight up Merry Christmas is gonna be your catchphrase? It's so lazy, it's not even funny. <laughs> and neither is laughing at your own jokes! <laughs> right, guys? Hold on, It's Jack! It's horrible! Oh, really? That was the same people they were just talking to? I honestly couldn't tell. Oh, no, no, I'm stuck in purgatory! Ooh, someone just discovered the zoom function, and we'll be seeing it a lot from now on. The killer has already killed earlier this morning. Same method, same morbid style. Did you get me Clinton yet? Oh, he's got an alibi, sir. Fuck! Fuck shit, fuck! Well, it's gotta be a president, right? Get me Washington. Never trusted him. Oh, he's dead, Captain. Fuck! Fuck shit, fuck! You saw the killing, is that right, Ms. Uh, Logan? Uh, I can barely see you a couple feet in front of me, so I doubt it. Oh yeah, and the policewoman in the background of this scene is Steven's girlfriend, but is that even going to be acknowledged here? Nope, I think we are writing this on the fly. If we wrote anything...
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next scene. Oh, Birdemic style editing. I missed you. Oh, and guess what this too long held on shot cuts to? Are you sure? We can't see anything anyway, movie. Move it along. You're only an hour as it is. You don't have this time to waste. Ken Morris confirms point by point what Miss Logan and Mr. Sander told us. Yes, there's nothing more here than what they've told us. Fuck! Fuck shit! Fuck! Well, maybe the big dummy will call us again, but I doubt even he's that stupid. So while Satan Claus tells the captain his tree ornaments are starting to make his apartment reek, they exchange some brilliant dialogue. Son of a bitch, you're free now, but I'll get you. No, no you won't. Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, come on. We can hear that that laugh was just done off screen. You heard him laugh? Well... This is awkward. Didn't try to trace that one either, huh? Zooming into uh, something. Oh, it's his mom. Yeah, it's totally necessary. There's evil out there. If you can't control your stupid quick zooms, don't do them. Anyway, Mother Cleo gives him the necklace of Satan Claus warding. And the pendant of audible zooms, apparently. Oh, we can't hear the dialogue half the time, but at least we can hear the camera's quick zoom function. Well, hello, stock footage. You look much too visible to be in this film. Anyway, we then see some woman almost getting mugged, but luckily she's able to run straight to her shower to show off her boobs, sort of, for a second before Satan Claus wishes her a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. On second thought, that doesn't seem lucky at all! And what the hell was the point of the mugger? <laughs> well, at the very least, it's nice that Satan Claus enjoys his job. <laughs> Guess he ran out of steam on that one, so he cut to Stevie Boy, now free to have bathing suit sex with his portfolio girl since Satan Claus granted his wish of pointless dream sequences. Oh, hi, Steve. You're early. Apparently, it's hard to remember a line so long. What is the reason for your visit here? Have you recalled something useful to our investigation? Really, I just came to say... To say hello, Captain. As you know, Steve and I are really good friends. Are police officers not allowed to date anymore? So you really know each other. Surprised at you, Lisa. I thought you had better friends. Captain, I'm right here! I only witnessed a crime! That's not my fault! Do you have an appointment? Right. With that beautiful photographer friend of yours. No, another one. That photographer, another one. How come I get to stand here dressed like an idiot and you get to... Stop? I really got you this time. Santa wouldn't behave like that. How do you know? He's doing better than I am. At least he's surrounded by elves. Sacrilege! It's a matter of class. Santa and I have it. You don't. So they're talking about Santa like he's a real person? I mean, I know there's a serial killer dressing up like him, but it'd be kind of weird to say that he has class. Well, a lynch mob really get this guy this time, and they start beating him for the sole reason of being in a Santa suit. You were going to kill my friend. Then who? Me? Or some other guy in a Santa suit? So, how many were you gonna kill before you got the right one? If you got him, 10, 20, 100, how many? You better watch it. It's like you're the ones thirsty for blood. 
You're no different than the man you're hunting. Who's the real Santa around here? Who's the real Santa? You look in the mirror, you might just look a bit jollier than you think. The public has dubbed him Satan Claus. Oh, she said it! And also we can see her. What's up with that? You bastard. That's the last time. Now we know who you are. Oh, no. Enjoyed my last present. Bastard! Son of a bitch! Fuck! Fuck shit! Fuck! Glad he keeps calling so he can repeat the same scene over and over. Speaking of... Merry Christmas! Get it? Cause it's not a Merry Christmas at all! Cause I'm killing you! Ha 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 for someone? <laughs> Satan, Satan, brother of the Santa. I expected some lame jokes from you at least, Satan Claus, like season's beatings or wishing them a silent night, but not just Merry Christmas followed by laughing. Who's the real Santa, Satan Claus? Who's the real Santa? This morning we analyzed the phone calls in the lab. Phone calls? Yes, the bastard is witty too. Each time he makes a call, he announces his next murder or brags about the previous one. I think you need to see a definition of wit. He alters his voice so that you can't tell if it's a male or female. He alters his voice so you can't tell if his voice is female, huh? Also, no. No, he doesn't. Lisa, you must be careful. I want you to really remember the pill, all right? Yes, she's here. It's your office. Oh, makes total sense they'd call Stevie's, the guy they apparently didn't even know she was dating to see if she was there instead of, you know, actually contacting her on the police radio. Clean this up and take the pieces away. I want the coroner's report on my desk in an hour. Though, since she has to clean the supposed body on the ground up, perhaps they don't have radios, as I think there's only four people on this force. Uh, so I don't actually know what to do, so I'll just stand here till the scene changes. Oh, look, Steve is just casually breaking into Portfolio Girl's place and finds a picture of Captain Fuck! Fuck shit fuck on a shrine. Hm, slightly strange. Guess we know who that throws suspicion on. Captain Fuck, of course! Mommy Cleo uses her dip to white transition power to see Satan Claus is reusing footage again, but what is really amazing is that we can almost see things during these dips to white. Cool. Meanwhile, Sandra McPortfolio is trying to curse up Steve's picture or something? I don't know. What? You mean Portfolio McEvil Shrine was actually evil? Unfortunately, though, Mummy Cleo's anti-Santa pendant makes her go into acting overdrive! I can't have him. You're a cop! How could you kill all those people? <gasps> Holy shit! It was really the captain! Wait, we know it's not. He didn't do it. Sandra, Sh she's the one. Sandra, you're evil? That's what the evil shrine was for. And maybe if we didn't see some of the scenes of her at the shrine, this would still be a surprise. How could you kill Jeff? You loved Jeff. Yes, but he didn't love me. He was seeing another woman. You got cheated on? That's the reason for all of this? Really? Why was your cheating boyfriend not first on your list then? Why the other murders at all? They were just to create the image of a psycho serial killer. Why did you need that? Who was Satan Claus anyway? Then I took a picture of Artisan. Jeff didn't know I dabbled in the cult. I used Artisan to do my bidding. I took his soul. He was a zombie. It was the captain? Why did you just say he didn't kill anyone? How was he calling himself all the time? I was killing Helen while he was at the office. He was killing Jeff while Jeff was with me. You both transformed into the same fat guy in a Santa suit and you were calling up to taunt the person you were controlling anyway? What? Do you realize you and Maman destroyed the perfect murder? That witch put a protective shield over you. How did she ruin the perfect murder? You've already done it! And what did controlling Steve after the fact have to do with anything? 
And what was with the body part tree? If things had gone according to your plan, no one would have seen it! I don't understand you, Satan Claus. So the captain discovers that running at someone with a gun can get you killed pretty damn quick, but conveniently the police show up right after telling Sandra to drop her weapon, and they just shoot her anyway. Oh, and of course they brought Steve's mom with them, cause uh, I guess the police do that. Obviously the goal of this ending was to be as confusing as possible. I didn't think a movie called Satan Claus could raise so many questions. So there's no confrontation with the actual Satan Claus cause apparently he might not have existed at all or was some kind of transformation spell. Either way a really silly and really weak way to try and have this Sandra twist which was spoiled beforehand anyway. It's dark, got bad acting, and birdemic editing, but if you want to see something really stupid, you should see this, it's pretty funny. Of course, by see this, I mean look at a black screen with voices that are audible sometimes. Hello? Merry Christmas! <laughs> That's good! <laughs> oh, come on, you were so obviously just standing by my door! Uh, or do I even exist at all? <laughs> uh, did he disappear? I can barely see anything over there! Fuck! Fuck shit, fuck! Yeah, it's all I've got. I don't like this movie, it doesn't look too friendly. This monster seems so fake, my nerves are gonna break. Failures don't let me down, you need to be around. Grab that running one up and blast that sink a new one. This movie looks shitty. Fail us, so fail us, bring a multi-comedy of fail us, so fail us, and some horror movies of fail us, so fail us, I don't care about how you sound, but fail us, so fail us, what's your opinion of So, who's the real Santa around here? Perhaps it was Johnny Cage himself. <laughs> you know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Damn it, I'm Johnny Cage!